Well, hello everybody and welcome to Sunday Catch-Up for Advent Sunday. Advent, a time of looking forward and preparing, preparing for two things, preparing for when Jesus came as a baby and we celebrate that, but also preparing for when he comes again, when he returns. And our Bible reading today is from Matthew chapter 24 and it's verses 36 to 44, which particularly concentrates on when Jesus returns. Before we come to that, let's sing our first song. King of kings, majesty, God of heaven, living in me. Gentle Saviour, closest friend, strong deliverer, beginning and end. All within me falls at your throne, your majesty. So uh, it's Advent Sunday, time of preparing and getting ready, getting ready to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus. And on Advent Sunday, we've lit the first of our four Advent candles on the four Sundays as we uh, come down to uh, Christmas Day, when we light the fifth one in the middle on Christmas Day. And we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus, our Saviour. And we all celebrate in many different ways. I'm sure that you have different traditions in your family to the way that I have in mine. Uh, but we all prepare, we all get ready. There's lots of things to do, lots of shopping, lots of thinking about uh, presents to get for other people, food, uh, arranging invitations if people are coming to stay, all those kind of things. Lots of stuff that we do to prepare ourselves to get ready. And uh, then when the big day comes, we have that great celebration of Jesus our Saviour, born in a stable all those years ago. And it's a great thing to be able to do that. My sister a few years ago, she uh, was getting ready for Christmas by being prepared, or so she thought. She was following uh, a Delia Smith guide for how to have the great Christmas that you really always wanted. She was doing each day, she'd do the little thing that she had to do and do this and do that and make the mince pies on three days before and all that sort of thing on the Christmas countdown that Delia had given her. 
she got to Christmas Eve uh, in the evening, or it was quite late, I think, in the evening, and um, she looked at the book again and she realised that what she should have done was taken the turkey out of the freezer some time before and she'd forgotten to do so. And so she wasn't as prepared as she thought she was. Well, all wasn't lost because she managed to find another turkey quite quickly because of some friends that had a farm and everything was fine. They, they, they made it work. But if you're not really fully prepared for Christmas, what's the worst thing that can happen? If, uh, if we're not really prepared, maybe somebody might not get a present or maybe there won't be enough sprouts to go round. It's not going to be the end of the world. I'm sure everyone will manage. But what about looking forward and preparing for when Jesus comes again? What if we're not ready for when he returns? What if we've not been prepared properly and have got, found ourselves falling short and not, uh, not being ready for when he comes? The thing is, we don't know when he's going to come. Nobody knows when he's going to come. In our Bible reading that we've had today, if you've looked at it, you will have seen that uh, it says right at the very beginning of the Bible reading that no one knows the day or the hour when he will return. Not the angels not the son but only the father knows that time and nobody can know nobody can know we can't know but what we have to do is to make sure that we're ready for that time the scouts have this motto be prepared and it's really important that we are prepared for when he comes back and he we, we will be back we know he will be back if you look in acts chapter one we read this they still had their eyes fixed on the sky as he went away when two men dressed in white suddenly stood beside them, I think they're angels, and said, Galileans, why are you standing there looking up in the sky? This Jesus who was taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way that you saw him go. So Advent is about preparing for when Jesus came as a baby, but it's also about being prepared for when he comes back, a time when we do not know when that is going to happen. Well, the Bible reading that we had today it told us that we don't know when that's going to be and no one will know when that's going to be. But it also gives us a couple of examples of how it may be when he does come back. And it says this, in the days before the flood, people ate and drank, men and women were married, up to the very day that Noah went into the boat. Yet they did not realise what was happening until the flood came and swept them away. That's how it's going to be when the Son of Man returns. So people will be doing everyday things like eating and drinking and getting married. And they could get caught out if they're not prepared for when he comes back. There's another example of two men working in a field. One will be taken away and the other left behind. Or two women at a mill grinding meal. One will be taken away and the other left behind. We don't generally do a lot of working in fields particularly here in Bermondsey, or grinding uh, corn or, uh, or maize at uh, a grinding wheel. But it's just everyday things that people will be doing. You could say that today you could be watching the World Cup on TV, or shopping in Asda or Tesco or somewhere, or taking the dog for a walk. Whatever it is, you don't know when Jesus is going to come back, and he'll come back when you're doing an everyday kind of activity. So again, we need to make sure that we are prepared. Then there's another example, that of the thief that uh, breaks into a house. And it says that if the homeowner had known, then he would have waited up and made sure that the thief didn't break in. And I know from first-hand experience what it's like to be burgled. I'm sure many of us do. If I'd known when the burglar was coming, of course I would have waited up and been ready for them and stop them breaking in. But we just don't know. We don't know when Jesus is coming back. Be ready is the warning that we're given right at the very end of our Bible reading in verse 44. Be ready because the Son of Man will come at a, an hour when you are least expecting him. And the warning is not just for us who are in the church, it's for everybody people out in our communities around and about. And as a church, we have a certain responsibility from the Great Commission of Jesus to go and share with people outside that they need to be ready for when he returns as well. And the reason for that 
is because if we're not ready, we could be left behind. And so the question is today, what if? What if Jesus was re to return? Would you be left behind or would you be not? What it would happen if you weren't ready, if you hadn't accepted him as your Lord and Saviour? What if, if you were living when he returned? But what if something had happened to you and you died before he came back? Are you sure that you're going to be with him for all eternity? Well, the Bible in Romans 10 gives us uh, an answer to how we know we are sure. And it says this, if we declare with our mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. And that's great news, isn't it? Believe in your heart and declare with your mouth or declare with your mouth and believe in your heart. You're speaking it out. You're saying that you know that Jesus is Lord and Saviour over your life. And you're saying that in your heart that you know that God has raised him from the dead. And if that's the case, if you know that, if you've said that, if you're sure you've said that, and you're sure you know that deep in your heart, then you will be saved. That's the promise that we have. But what if you're not sure? What if you know that you've never ever done that? Well, there's no time like the present to do it. Consider what Jesus has done for you and then make that decision as to whether to follow him or not. Jesus, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, became a baby and dwelt among us. He gave his life on the cross to set us free. Yet he rose to life again. God raised him to life again and he ascended into heaven and sits at his right hand. Then, one day, we know not when, he's coming back and he will make everything new. And if we're not prepared, if we're not ready for that time, then we could be left behind, like some of those people in the examples that we were shown in our Bible reading today. In uh, January, we're going to be holding an Alpha course at the church which uh, if you're not sure, if you want to explore a bit more about what it means to be a follower of Jesus, then why not book up? You can either speak to me or ring the church office and uh, we'll be able to put you on the list and get you signed up to come and join us for the Alpha course. It's a great way of exploring. And maybe for you, that exploration, that finding out a little bit more is part of your journey to being able to say yes to him and being prepared for that day that he returns. So let's now say a prayer together. Father God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that he came as a baby all those years ago. And we look forward to celebrating that time this Christmas. But also, we thank you that he's coming back. We don't know when, but we thank you, Lord, for that, for that promise. And that if we declare with our mouth and know in our heart that Jesus has been raised from the dead, then we will be saved. Help us, Lord, to consider those decisions and make the right choice and be ready for when he returns. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this has been Sunday Catch-Up. Thank you for watching. I do hope that uh, you have a good week. We're going to sing our next song now and there'll be another Catch-Up along next week. i
Messiah